Hello, my name is Alex Hughes. Today we're doing a quick L8 tutorial on the virtual camera function found in L8 version 61.51 and above. This applies to trace and unlimited licenses and basically the functionality allows you to control virtual cameras. So we've got a, uh, a setup sort of already here with some screens and basically we're going to uh, we're going to build some uh, virtual screens and make some cameras appear. So we're going to start with our uh, our back screen. So if I select our entire back screen, uh, making sure that I don't have the top one selected and we go material, what we can do is we can go into movie where we'd find all our NDI inputs and video inputs and we're going to select zone texture one and it's going to completely black out because currently we don't have anything attached to that. We're then going to do the same for my top screen here and we're going to set this one to zone 2. Uh, we're now going to click save and we've already done half of the process. So you can see that we've already got a camera set up but that's because I've got a camera jib already set up. So if I go into DMX setup where we find cameras and click on just the Sony generic camera we can see it's currently pointed at the floor but with the camera options, we've got the option of setting an aspect ratio as well as a zone out. So it's as simple as setting a zone out of one for zone one and off we go. And now if we go back into uh, real preview, we can see that we've got this camera jib selected. And if I pan and tilt the camera jib, the uh, it, uh, it relates to the back screen as well. So, you know, if I bring it all the way up, just as it would with a real camera, it tracks. Now, what we can also do is you might have noticed that I've got um, this top screen here. And what I've done with the top screen is if I go back into DMX and I go all the way to the back of the room, you can see that I've got three cameras here. So if I select the first one and we set the aspect ratio to 16 by nine and we set the zone out to zone two, but we set it to C, D, and E, what we can do is we can basically create three pips and we're also getting a preview of it at the top of the screen here. Uh, we can get this really nice sort of multi-pip look. So if we go zone two, and then finally, zone two, E, and if we want to permanently see this, like we would with all lighting objects, what we can do is we can lock the input here. So no matter what, it's already up. But by default, we can also DMX map these so that if we go back in and we go to the back of the room again, I can grab one of the cameras and I can set its intensity like I would with an iris. So if we, uh, we add a bit of haze back in. One important feature that has now been added in the latest version is number one, we don't need to pipe the zones to an external display anymore. And the big thing is now we can see haze. Uh, it's not just a flat plane. It actually looks like a real camera. So if we make changes here, we can see that it appears in the back of the shot as well. Uh, we can also see our jib in one of our shots. So if we drop the jib uh, out of the way, we'll get that out of the way as well. But that's pretty much it. It's really super simple. You can get some cool dynamic looks. You can obviously DMX control your cameras as you want. Uh, but it's, yeah, incredibly impressive. Thanks for watching. Obviously, if you've got any questions, feel free to put them in the comments section. Or you can always reach out to L8 directly uh, via their Facebook page or their website contact. Thanks.